Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be covering industry emissions. When we're reducing our footprint and we say that we're reducing our footprint, what really does that mean? You know, consumers are hearing this from almost every company out there right now and it can be a little bit confusing. It sounds a lot like people are making these big, big promises, but unfortunately, a lot of the time, this can be pretty misleading. The first step to understanding this is really finding out what a company counts as its emissions. Greenhouse gas emissions are classified into typically three categories. These three categories are scope one, two, and three emissions. Scope one emissions are really the direct emissions that come from things an organization owns or controls, like a truck fleet or its factories. Uh, scope two emissions are really from indirect emissions that come from purchased energy. So the electricity you're getting from a power grid, uh, you know, power plant, the emissions related to that purchase energy. And then scope three emissions are all the other indirect emissions that it happens uh, you know, through the typical day-to-day -day company operations. That's you know, the emissions related to raw materials, the emissions related to purchase good, the emission related to the waste around the purchase good, pretty well everything. You know, typically, companies consider their direct emissions from operations and purchase energy that we now know are scope one and two as under the cloud of their personal emissions and what they take responsibility for. This is a good start, but it's not the final step. At QE Home, we're taking full responsibility for our overall impact, not only considering scope one and two emissions into our reduction numbers, but also scope three. We're considering all emissions related to our actions as a company. From raw material to end product, they're all our responsibility. We have set emission reduction targets in line with the globally recognized science-based targets, SBTs. These are greenhouse gas emission reduction targets set by companies, cities, and other organizations that are actually aligned with the end goals of the Paris Climate Agreement. Its aim was to limit global warming to well below two degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Science-based targets are really based in the best available scientific knowledge, provide a clear pathway for companies to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions in line with what is actually required to avoid the worst impacts of climate change. Expanding our emissions responsibility to include scope 3 emissions is unique. By doing this, we have and will be able to greatly reduce our impact. It is estimated that if we simply maintain our reduction efforts, we can almost half our emissions by 2038. Over the past four years, we've already seen average annual emission reductions of over 5%. The changes we make will have ripple effects through our suppliers, leading to overall greater emissions reductions. This is the route with the highest impact, and that's exactly why we chose to take it. In the next video, we're going to be talking about environmental certifications, why they're both a cause for concern and crucial to the textile industry.